We found a game, it's Echo Isles, but they're still loading. Okay, great. Orc versus Night Elf, Echo Isles. Who's the best Night Elf player in your opinion? Uh, like, of all time? That should be Moon, easy answer. But there have been cases, of course, where someone else has a better micro, someone else has a better win rate. Oh my god, I didn't make a peon. For example, the best um, Western Night Elf was Krilophus. The best performing WCG Night Elf may have actually been Short Round. I think he got the best WCG performance with a second and a third place. Uh, Moon has the most legendary win rate and win streak and innovated a lot. Remind and Soju had some of the best micro. My Remind's micro in particular was some of the best ever. Uh, Soju was a strategical genius. He was a little bit lazy, people said. But he was really good at the long macro games. His Night Elf versus Undead was truly fearsome. Um, I actually take who is the best at XYZ really with a grain of salt. I don't apply it to myself, I don't apply it to others. Um, the uh, You are the best when you are winning a tournament. That's when you're the best. You can come up with a million excuses why someone won, blah 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 blah. Anyway, the only reliable metric is when someone won a tournament you can say who won the most or who won the most important who won the biggest one there's so many different metrics that it ends up being a very personal <coughs> preference thing and uh, i think moon starting early and performing for a long time was one of the best but you can make a case for many others as well for me moon is the best I actually don't like creeping here and sacking my second burrow. It's too important for me. War mail. He wants to take another gamble in my base. Sure. Be my guest. say that was that good actually for me <laughs> he killed a grunt a peon i lost a lot of mining time it was funny though i didn't kill the archer
very low on lumber. Yeah. Yeah. Could have done that better. Especially if I just didn't creep the Ogre Mage. Lol. And I didn't get the last hit on the Demon Hunter. Oh, he's coming again. He's out for blood. Yeah, as the Beastmaster. It doesn't seem to be going for my base. Now, if I could have killed a wisp to level up, I wouldn't have done it. I'm just gonna delay my blade for a bit. I, w I want this second wind rider before I get my blade. <laughs> if I killed a wisp, I would level up to level two and I would die and it would cost more and it would take longer. So I'll just wait for that borrow. He doesn't have a whole lot to defend this with. And no wins. That cancel was definitely worth it. The Blade Master loss. He is never going to have units besides archers and mercenaries. I like it. care about your archer it's all about the shop for me Almost had Windwalk again. He's got his two wins. I just can't let him get Orb of Venom. It's insta loss with Wyverns. I hope he's making talents. I can literally just kill his Quilby, so why am I running from one freaking pig? Talents! Because you always have to play the same strut, no matter what happens. <laughs> nice. They do really well against Wyverns. Oh, 
Yeah, we salvaged the situation. This weird game. Uh, he needs third alchemy. Okay. GG. Useful unit, talent, under the right circumstances. Three GBG. So oftentimes Wind Riders is only good under the following circumstances. Massive attrition on both sides at the beginning of the game. So losing lots of burrows, peons, grants, they lose lots of wis, moonwell, HP, demon, whatever. If you go uh, to uh, to wind riders under those circumstances, it's fantastic. Why didn't you get hippogriffs? Well, they would be a better choice, yes, but they would still be losing. Hippo are melee; they're faster than wind riders, so they can get hits in when you have enough threat on the ground to dissuade the wyverns from staying put and shooting. But if it's like, oh, well, you have no uh, anti-air on the ground and it's only Hippo, then they're easily kited and out microed. Man, we lost our hero a lot there. Yes, I think he should have gone for a hidden shop. It was his only chance. What happened to Moon? Does he not play anymore? He still plays and he streams on a different website. Why follow before Grubby? Uh, if I used Grubby, I would not be able to have the same username at many different portals. Because you know it's like a six letter dictionary word. Yes, talents can defeat wyverns in bird form. But they need two upgrades to be there. They need fairy fire in bird form and they need um, uh, adept, which makes them be able to have bird form. At level one without upgrades, initiate, they only can do fairy fire. Maybe play some games on Netty Scrubby? Nah, way too much lag. I cannot possibly play there. I've tried it and it's terrible. I am from the Netherlands and the server of Netty is in China. He should have not focused on either talents or dryads as soon as I got the council out. What he should have done was make archers and alchemists third and uh, mercenaries if the camp was clearable. I knew I was going to win as soon as he uprooted his ancients of war when I was killing wind, uh, ancients of wind. Because he needed to make archer production. Oh! Nice. 